Listen, you fuckers, you screwheads. Here is a man who would not take it anymore. A man who stood up against the scum, the cunts, the dogs, the filth, the shit. Here is someone who stood up. Here is... Guy told me one time, don't let yourself get attached to anything. You are not willing to walk out on in 30 seconds flat if you feel the heat around the corner. It's showtime. All right, what? You're not married to her? No. You married someone else? My wife. Like, right, know about this? No. Well, what are you worried about this? Forget about it. Mm -hmm. Whoa, what a nice touch, Mary. What are you doing after work? Are you going to propose? Propose. Propose, because if you're not, quit staring at me, okay? No. No. Don't think this incident is distracting me, Father. I know you're up to something. I'm watching you. Yeah. You want to see my leg? You want to see mine? So don't step aside or I'll have to crack you right in the jaw. We're going to make a man of you yet. In years to come, you'll thank me. You'll remember me. Stick the fryer tuck act up your ass. Where's Spider? I want you to do everything you got. I want you to fucking lay me out. Eddie, Eddie, I swear to God, don't start with me now or I will shoot him and I will dump him in a fucking swamp. I want to see the manager. You want to see the manager? Yeah. Yeah? I'll show you the manager. Here's the manager. Look right here. Here's the manager. I'm going to go to the head man. I'm going to rack you out. I got a problem. I got a right to march in that procession. Now you sign me up. Hey, why don't you look over that way before I bust your fucking head off? I'll give you anything, but don't ask me to do six weeks. I can't take over the show for six weeks. I can't even take over my own life for six weeks. And you're asking me to do something that's impossible. It's impossible. Don't you understand? Why? Because, like, what is it, a guilt thing or something? I mean... You can never tell anyone you did this. What, what could they do to me? Take them home to your house to kill you. I came into this game for the action, the excitement. Go anywhere, travel light, get in, get out. Wherever there's trouble, a man alone. I know your name, I know where you live. I can find you and I'll gut you like a fish. I'll pull out your fucking insides I'll make you eat them. You hear me? I'll make you fucking eat them. Listen to me, you deaf fuck. I offered you a chance when we could have done something. I offered you a chance to be a cop and you blew it! Get all this shit out of here and put all my old stuff back. Then I'll be real sympathetic. Until then, I'm not gonna be sympathetic. I fucked you right where you breathe. Cause I don't give two shits about you or nobody else. You talking to me? You threatening me? I'll fucking kill you in this place. Get up and go home I'm right now. Oh, you. Oh, you got. Oh, oh, you're gonna die, you motherfucker! There's your fucking pillow. Feel better? Yeah, I do. I can't help but sense a certain tension between us. Has anyone ever questioned your word before today? No, no one ever has. But there's a first time for everything. Your deductive powers are a gift from God or chance or a stray shot of sperm or whatever, or whoever the hell wrote your life script. A gift, not earned. You do not know what I know because you have not earned those powers. You got an all-out price fight, you wait till the fight's over, one guy's left standing, and that's how you know what. It don't take much strength to pull a trigger, but try and get up every morning day after day and work for a living. Let's see him try that. 
Then we'll see who's the real tough guy. The working man is the tough guy. Your father's the tough guy. Life, the gift of life, the freedom of life, the wonderment of life. That's entertaining.